So if you have your coffee and your Bible ready, we are ready to begin. Pastor Bob's Coffee Break, right ahead. I'm a victor, not a victim. And of course, drinking our Headbangers brew in that mug. What can I say? Our classic blend. And it comes in, you know the drill, ground, whole bean, decaf, K-cups. What? You haven't tried it yet? This may be the day. <laughs> All right. Mm. Did I mention it's the best coffee around? Just saying. Dear Pastor Bob, while I was growing up, there was a guy who bullied me all the time. I hated him. He made me feel like dirt. And because of him, I still don't have a very good self-image. What steps should I take to improve how I feel about myself? I feel like my bully ruined my life. That's a tough one, isn't it? And I grew up with bullies too. I really do understand this. And they make you feel really bad. But uh, one of the things, one of the huge, huge foundations that I had in my life was being really grounded by my parents and talking it through with them and realizing what the bigger picture was. That this, the bullies that I had, and one in particular, wouldn't be there my whole life. And that at some point, at some point, they would be stuck and I wouldn't be, sadly. But the mentality is a bad one. The problem is that sometimes we take on the same mentality. I want to give you my definition for bullies. You ready? Bullies are those people who torment you until you're old enough to torment yourself. Yeah. You know, folks, it's really important that we realize that we're not a victim. We're always a victor. We're always... Uh, winning because of Jesus Christ in our lives. And it really is putting on a different mindset than the one that this one forces me to be into. And most of the time, when people treat us poorly, we feel like it's for a reason. And so we begin to treat ourselves poorly. We begin to feel like, okay, if they're treating me this way, then there must be something hugely wrong with me. And we begin to adopt the same thing. And the biggest problem isn't that bully. The biggest problem many times is you. Bullies, those people who torment you until you're old enough to torment yourself. I know. Well, let's look at some scripture here. 2 Timothy 1.7. It's a scripture that we go to quite a bit. I really want you to get used to this one because this is the one that I want to come into your head when you really need it, okay? And it says, For God did not give us a spirit of timidity or cowardice or fear. He's given us his spirit of power and love and a sound mind or sound judgment and personal discipline. That's what he's given us. The abilities that result in a calm and well-balanced mind and self-control. You see, he didn't give me that spirit of fear that that bully was trying to ingrain in me. And it sounds like it worked for you. It works for a lot of people being bullied until they're old enough to bully themselves. But let's just take the bullying out of the equation. And where do you stand with Christ and what has he given you 
to stand on. Now, this is only the beginning. This takes years of working through and believing. You know, whatever you believe about yourself and whatever you believe about God in your life is who you become. And if you honestly believe that Jesus died for you, that his righteousness lives in you, and that his power and authority runs through you in Jesus Christ, then you have everything you need. And you quit bullying yourself. And you quit blaming the bully for where you're at today. Well, just a little quick study today. You know, it's been a big week. <laughs> I've had a lot of controversial podcasts and I'm ready for something just a little bit lighter and maybe not so much mail. I know. Anyway, I love spending this time with you and thank you for joining me. Don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing. <laughs>